So right now we are on the way from Monaco to Milano. Uh, I have a four day go-kart uh, session or uh, like a gathering. It's uh, Norsved, which is a team I drive for in Norway. They have like their winter camp now for the go-kart uh, guys. So um, I'm on the way there now. They've already driven one day already so I'm one day late but this was the only opportunity I had um, and I think as well four days of go-karting in a row is probably enough with for my ribs because I'm not so used to that so I'm really looking forward um, the weather forecast will be amazing that's what they say uh, the track should also be really cool I will also try now my Norwegian go-kart for the first time uh, because the go-kart I have in Monaco is uh, a gear kart uh, here it's um, there's no gears um, so it's just one full flat out but yeah we'll be good I'm looking forward <laughs> So it's a bit cold out here today, two degrees only. So, uh, but the sun is on the way up, so it should be better. Uh, here you can see the team. interested in how I can survive four days here I think it's just better if I take like more breaks and drive for this because my ribs are not used to this kind of uh, exhaustion or this kind of um, tension so uh, but uh, maybe I can go out on track when I have some time off and, and film the track a little bit so you guys can see or when the guys are driving it because it's so fast, some of the entries here are, it's crazy. You'd like driving 120 kilometers per hour in this little car with no seat belt. And you put it into slide and you go directly into the corners. It's, I don't want to crash in one of these. There's no roll cage. Cool. So, um, this is the one which I hurt my ribs with. As you can see here, it's very soft, like this. Um, and it didn't really give me enough protection. So, I hurt my ribs, which means that I, I cannot drive anymore, sadly. I could, but I'll probably destroy it even more. And since go-kart is just training for me and rally is my main focus then uh, yeah better to be smart um, but anyway I got myself a new one Ooh, this is much much more stiff uh, which I bought here on the track but then it was already too late um, so looks like my ribs are not made for go-kart uh, but luckily we don't need that in rallying so yeah we'll see so that means that uh, my four-day trip ends with uh, ends with one day. <laughs> so I was thinking about just sleeping here for another night and try it again tomorrow, but 
I hurt my ribs before and I know how it feels like, so... Oh, this really hurts. I can't even run, you know, so... And even breathing heavily feels feels bad, so... Let's let's be clever this time and not make it worse than, than it is. That means back again to Monaco. And hopefully I can do some other types of sport, but... Uh, or other type of training. I don't hope I'm, like, out of training now for several weeks. That would be shit. But, uh, okay, maybe there's sun there. Maybe I can enjoy the sun for a bit. We'll see. So, that was a bummer. But, uh, I will come back strong. Back to Monaco and spend some days there. Um, maybe go flying for a day. Uh, I'll ask Fabian, a friend of mine. He has a, he has a plane there. So, we have planned to maybe go for uh, go for a flight very soon that would be cool uh, other than that trying to train a little bit physical now the next couple of days as long as my rib uh, allows me to do it so i hope so anyway two and a half hour drive now back to monaco not too far have a coffee soon and uh, we'll be before you know it we'll be there Back in Monaco, uh, it's the day after I've, uh, I did some go-karting and uh, yeah, my rib really hurts. Obviously when you hurt your ribs, it takes a little bit of time before it, you actually feel that you hurt them. So I really feel today, but I already did an, a cycling session this morning and it didn't feel too bad. So I still think I can train, but not obviously go-karting or something that really is hurting my ribs. So that's the positive. So I'm now back in Monaco. I drove here last night um, and uh, the weather is incredible. Uh, have a look. It's like a building site in front of me right at the moment. Um, I got some setup being sent from, uh, from GoPro. Uh, this little bastard here. GoPro 8, uh, I filmed it yesterday a little bit at the go-kart, um, the onboard which you saw was filmed with, uh, with this one, uh, really incredible though because all the cameras I've had on board in rally cars or in, or in um, other types of vehicles, it's always been shaking, so uh, with this one it was super super smooth, so this was really really uh, a cool video and you can make so much with these things so now we are on the way to Monte Carlo Golf Club uh, hit some balls get the season starting you Vince you have a lot of experience massive experience I'm <laughs> glad to be back there at the world championship <laughs> level <laughs> but it's your first time yeah, right? first time and uh, let's see maybe it's a new passion never know <laughs> <laughs> you never know so let's let's see how with the swing is Bad, eh? You're much better than Ola. No idea. <laughs> Probably the most frustrating sport in the world. After rally, maybe. <laughs> but um, last time I was here, I was really good. Hit straight and long and quite precise. But now, I'm nowhere. I'm shit. What happened? Four! <laughs> 250. <laughs> <laughs> so I wasn't filming, but I know exactly what he was going to say. <laughs> we got so, free balls. Yeah, we got free balls because we met the manager of the club here and we were putting with these uh, these balls where you use on the driving range. He thought we were 
two thugs playing golf. <laughs> like, they don't belong here at all. They're here, wearing a hoodie. I'll, I'll give you free balls because <laughs> you, felt you, bad look, for you us. look cheap. <laughs> But we pulled up with this car, which, I mean, you know, <laughs> we can putt with whatever golf ball we want. <laughs> That doesn't make us cheap anymore.